Okay, we're going to talk about the determinant and a cofactor expansion. In order to take a determinant, you do need to have a square matrix. Here's the notation. One thing to be very careful with, A is a matrix, so you're inputting A, which would be considered your domain, but your output is a real number. Kind of like taking a dot product. Your input's two vectors, your output is a constant. It's a real number. Well, we've seen the formula for a two by two. Let me just write that out again. Again, you remember, you always start with A. Diagonal AD minus the other diagonal. So before we go to a bigger size matrix, I'm gonna have you recall the cross product from Calc 3. Let's do an example. For a dot product of two vectors, you get a constant, but for a cross product, you get another vector. The process is identical to the cross product. And maybe you've never noticed it, but it does have the determinate signs on it too, on the outside. So it's the top row, I, and then if you black out I, it's times, that's called our minor, the determinant of the minor. And then we'll move to our second one, J. And so remember the J, we put a minus J, it's alternating, it's actually always alternating. And we block out the row and the column of J and the minor that's left, and then plus K, and there's the minor that's left. So, and then you just calculate it, do the determinant. We don't need to go further with that. It's the process we're interested in right now. So we're gonna start off with matrix A, which is a three by three. And we're gonna start off with an expansion of row one, which is almost identical to what we just did. This is row one, we're gonna do an expansion of row one. Our row one was I, J, K. Okay, and again, the process is the same. So it's one, two, three. So it's one times a minor minus two times a minor plus three times a minor. And so we just block out. So the first minor is you block out that one, which is, so you can see here, this is what we get. That's the minor that's left. And then we're gonna move over to two. So we use minus two here. So the minus, it's alternating, plus, minus, plus. I'll talk about more about that in a minute. Just block out the two, since that's the one we're doing. And so we're left with six minus two, this and this. And last but not least, and just so we have some terminology here, I've been using it already. These are the minors. You block off that row and column of that one. And the whole thing is the cofactor. So we have three cofactors there because it's expanding across row one. So let's go ahead and calculate this. So the determinant of A is 35. This isn't the only way that we can find the determinant. This was an expansion of row one to find the determinant. We are allowed to expand along any row or any column. So we're gonna do next, so expansion along column one. Now, before I go further, I wanna talk about the signs, how they're, they are always alternating, but let me explain. They're not always gonna be plus minus plus, okay? To find the signs, these signs in front, the formula for it is it's minus one. It's the row number plus the column number. So this one that we did here, it's minus one, what row one plus one is minus one squared is plus. This one is minus one, so it's this number. This is row one plus column two. And that's a third power and that's why it's negative. And the last, you can see this is going to be minus one row one plus column three, which is to the fourth power, which is plus, again, it's plus minus plus 
should always be alternating because it always moves over by one. This this one right here, column one. So the sine of this one is minus one. Row two plus column one is the third power, so it will be negative. And plus and so forth and so forth. This one will be plus and minus. They're, they're alternating. The first position's always plus, so you don't really need to use that formula as long as you understand and you don't forget. So let's go ahead and find the determinant. Expansion along column one. It's right here. And we're going to do the first one. So it's one times the minor, and that's a plus. So we already calculated it. The minor, and then a six. But that six is going to be a minus. Again, we already calculated that times the minor. So we never move those numbers around. Two, one, three, negative four. And then my last one's plus. The number's actually a minus two, but we can see it's a plus. Plop those out. And if you calculate it, it is 35. We have to get the same thing, it's the determinant. Okay, so now let's do one more expansion. We'll go ahead and do column two. There's my A, so column two. So we start with two times the minor. But we gotta figure out the sign. So it's minus one, that's the position that this is in. It's row one plus column two, which is to the third power, so it is negative. It was negative in our first expansion, right? That top row, middle, is a negative. And then we have a minus three times the minor. Cross out the minus three. And then we gotta do minus one. Well, it should be alternating. Once you figure it out, this is negative, this should be plus, and then it's minus. But we can work it out. It's minus one, row two plus column two. Fourth power is positive, and this one will be negative because it's row three plus column two is five, it's negative. And that's a one there because that last number is one times the minor. The minor for that one. And guess what? We get 35 again. Okay, well that's how you take the determinants. Let's work some out. Yep. Sine squared, minus and minus is cosine squared. And that is one. So that's our identity matrix. The determinant of our identity matrix is one. What's gonna happen if I swap those rows? Minus one. So we saw that if we swap two rows, the determinant wasn't the same. So we do have to be careful. We'll learn more about that in the next section. But I do. I will tell you, just doing regular row operations where you add two rows or a multiple one row to another, as long as it's an elementary matrix, it doesn't affect it. So. We can, we have this one here, we can zero those out. And why do you think we would want to do that? Because then we can make our expansion along column one, put these all zero, and then it'll be one times this determinant. And then it's just a regular three by three, which we know how to do. Okay, let's do it. We're doing an expansion along column one. I'll write that. So it's one times the determinant that's left. And my next one would be zero, but we would do zero minus zero times, well, that would be zero and zero and so forth. So this is, once I figure out this determinant, that's my answer. 
I'm going to, again, row two or um, column three. doesn't matter. That's the two best choices because it has a zero in one of it. Just like we saw, we don't have to find the minor for that one. So it's shorter. So I'm going to do column three. And this is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Okay, that's it, folks.